Afternoon, welcome to the Sounds of Impression Lo-Fi Workshop once again. Uh, thought it was about time to show um, a proper, or put together a proper video, sort of showing this little um, home uh, mini preamp um, that I put together that uh, seems to be quite uh, quite popular at the moment. And I think uh, with things as they are and with uh, dances, uh, dances off the scene for a long time, kind of... Uh, I think people get that this is uh, quite a nice thing to have in the house, nice and easy to use, sounds really good, um, gives you a lot of the characteristics of a full sound system. Um, so quite simple controls, uh, just show you the front and back very quickly. Um, so uh, bottom uh, bottom section, bass, trebles, volume control and we've got uh, one send and return channel on this uh, and a switch for uh, toggling between phono input and uh, line level input, you know, off your CD player or uh, or whatever, um, or if you want to put a mixer straight in there. So if you want to run uh, two decks or something, um, these are your three way um, three way section controls: bass, mids, and tops. And you've got uh, kill switches on each um, that can uh, latch in a fixed position or temporarily just by holding them uh, down and releasing. And the top section we've got a bass parametric, so um, frequency sweep and gain LED, show you that the thing is switched on. And if we uh, take a quick look back, so um, switchable uh, power, um, we've got a line in, these three down the right are your bass mids and uh, top outputs. We've got a full range output as well um, and this is send and return for your uh, for your effects and of course your phono input and uh, an earth strap. So pretty uh, pretty simple and as uh, usual I'm going to hook this up to my uh, little two-way system that I've got in the unit. So uh, I've got a 24 inch sub and uh, I've got a couple of 12s and tops there. Um, they run passively, so it's two two way, and I just run it off a little lamp down here, a dodgy old uh, QSC in the corner there. So um, to run it uh, two way in this instance, um, I've got uh, my two cables coming off my uh, uh, going to my amp. The red one's bass, and the uh, yellow one is for my mids and tops. So um, to run this. Uh, Two way, obviously, my bass is going to go into the bass output, and uh, a little cheat to run it uh, two way in this instance. I've got a little adapter here um, that I use for tinkering around in the garage and so on. Um, and I've got uh, three jacks and uh, an output jack connected there, so I just plug a couple of those into the mids and tops, and that allows me to run it two way instead of three way. Or if I just want to plug it into my home hi-fi, I would just run it on the full range out, output, of course. And I've got my uh, input stuff, which is coming off my uh, coming off a CD player in here. So uh, that's all hooked up, and uh, we'll turn you around. Make sure everything's all plugged in. Uh, go around the back. Switch her on, right? There we go. So, um, go over here to my dodgy old CD player and we'll uh, switch to a bit of music. We'll switch our amplifier on and we'll, what should we stick that up to? We'll stick that up to about half, uh, probably about a third of the way up. Right then, we'll start a bit of music and uh. Turn a bit of volume on, the sections are all off at the moment, so... Bring those on. And the bass. Bring the bass on. 
yourself. I recommend know yourself, my baby. that you listen with uh, headphones, get the most uh, feel for what's going on out there. that was the original kind of design concept for this thing we'll run it in the house and we'll show you what it can uh, do and how can it how it can transform the uh, sound in your house um, just through a little unit like this um, just running full range through maybe a couple of uh, 12s and a little tweeter or, or whatever you might have in your house um, but equally powerful to, powerful enough to use on a sound system flexible enough to use on a sound system um, I'm also making some uh, um, other uh, um, custom um, versions of this unit now with uh, with microphone channels and uh, maybe a couple of little things uh, tacked on. Still trying to keep it nice and simple. The old traditional style of uh, preamp, you know, sort of a real old school kind of thing. Old school look, old school controls, keep it simple, keep it elegant, keep it sounding nice. Uh, so let's uh, see what it sounds like at home now. Okay, we're uh, in the house now. I'll just uh, finish off this demonstration showing the, uh, the Mini Pre operating on a house system. So uh, we, are, we have a turntable connected to this, so I've got an uh, um, echo unit on the sound and returns and we are hooked up to just uh, one side of this uh, twin monoblock Marshall, so that's about 100 watts valve amp. And we're running this uh, one way just into, um, we've got a stack here, 15 at the bottom, but actually the only things that are working are these two 12s and the tops. Tops are run passively. So if we take a look around the uh, back of the preamp, I'll just be careful here, holding a phone and doing this all one-handed. So um, we've got uh, phono, uh, phono input. I've also, uh, I've just got a Bluetooth uh, um, gadget connected here as well on the line input so I'll play things off my phone when I'm uh, tinkering around the house. Um, send and returns for the echo unit and we're running just one feed out of the full range output into our 100 watt amplifier. So we'll just put this back and uh, we'll sling a tune on and I'll show you that you can still get plenty of weight out of this thing with the most uh, basic household setup. Do an old tune. Do old Prince Buster. Okay. So parametrics off. Bass treble centred. So be listening with the uh, be listening with the headphones. You should hear a nice bit of bass coming out of this. Always the Why the parametric on a bit? I hear that voice via my sound system. And that Naya Keith is in this jacket. But then can't get my red stripe, be able to sit like dance at night. Plenty of sub coming out of this thing. So there you 
go. I think the uh, the microphones on these um, on these iPhones are uh, pretty pretty crummy. They tend to uh, saturate and get overloaded fairly quickly. But um, yeah, hopefully you get a sense of what's going on there. I mean, we have uh, I've had all the sort of modern mixes in this house, and uh, you know all the all the predictable sort of pioneer stuff and so on. And trust me, this thing sounds way cleaner, way way cleaner and uh, really nice control on the bottom end and everything as well and you can really get quite a lot more out of a little uh, sound system in your house than you might think and it's uh, big enough to uh, powerful enough as well to be using uh, on a full sound system it drives that no problem whatsoever okay so if you're interested uh, give me a call drop me a line on facebook cheers